Hey, what's good, y'all? So I just want to go ahead and brag on y'all. Pat yourselves on the back real quick because last night, last night's stream, even though it wasn't in a sense of Bandai Namco, what we necessarily wanted, but last night you guys went absolutely ham. Damn. And I mean, just that's a that's a that's a saying I ain't said in a very very long time. But y'all went damn near incredibly nuclear ham. Uh, last night it was crazy and again i gotta say thank you guys so much for the love and support y'all were just insane i'm just a dude that hits record and also hits start my live and y'all just pretty much make it so y'all were literally 100 the mvps last night and i gotta go ahead and say thank y'all so much again from the bottom of my heart not as icy josh but as josh y'all literally went ham and i just every time i think about it and i woke up even this morning just still with a smile on my face i went to sleep with a smile on my face last night and i woke up with a smile on my face this morning because i was like bro it's just wild how how crazy y'all were last night on stream and again y'all chat y'all were just wild and i'm and i'm saying chat on this video because hey, hey. But I'm saying, uh, chat, because literally I'm talking to you guys that was here last night on the stream for Bandai Namco Showcase. Y'all were literally insane, and I got to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Again, like, just the amount of likes, the people that were here. I mean, we were literally like three off from like 400 people in here. It was, it was insane. It was electrifying, and you guys were just absolutely killing it last night. Again, thank y'all so much. I don't think YouTube ready. Uh, if y'all if y'all keeping it up like that, bro, I like I said, I'm just a dude, but y'all y'all killing it. Y'all dictate how the channel goes. So again, thank y'all so much for that. Again, so let's get into Budokai Tenkaichi Four talk. So it wasn't there last night, and you know I was I was frustrated. If you if you weren't there to see that, I highly <laughs> I highly recommend you uh, go and see that one on the stream. <laughs> just fast forward to like probably like the last. I don't know, maybe 40, 50 minutes of the stream. <laughs> uh, but we do have Evo. And we also have Gamescom. Again, you guys will let me know last night. We, we still got Gamescom as well. So, But we still have Evo. And Evo is first. And to be quite honest, Evo is going to be August the 4th. It's, and that's, again, Friday through uh, Sunday. That's August the 6th. And, again, it's, it's Evo. So if we see something from Evo, which is the crowd that you see whenever any pretty much big fighting game is sort of introduced somewhere around there that's the crowd that you see that's like fuck yeah you know like that's what you see so if it's there at evo then get ready for a competitive a very competitive budokai tenkaichi 4 and i keep saying budokai tenkaichi 4 but it could be dragon ball super budokai tenkaichi it could be just saying that right now they it could be like a revamp all the way through and again if it is a revamp please do not give me dragon ball z to fucking go through again please do not bandai namco i swear to you i will slap the dog shit out of you if you give me dragon ball z to go all the way through and playing from the story do not just let it start a dragon ball super and keep it moving from that I, if you i swear if you get me move on from that one but Capcom, Capcom is, uh, again, right, well, I'm going to say right after, but it, gets, it is in August, and that is Wednesday, which I'm glad I'm off, uh, Wednesday, August the 23rd through the 27th, uh, that is, that will end on that Sunday. And again, I, I don't know that, I can't remember that much about Gamescom all that much, uh, because normally I usually don't watch Gamecoms, uh, really, so I don't necessarily know if it's still somewhere like Evo where it's like, hey, there's a bunch of games through here as well too. Because if I'm looking at it, it's just like the world's large, the, the description for it is the world's largest event for computer and video games for Europe's most comprehensive business platform for the games industry. So again, like you're seeing games. I know there's world premieres there and stuff like that, but it's a sense where if it's not there at these two as well, again, don't trip because we do have the Game Awards and the Game Awards is December the 6th. Uh, I think you guys were very much right last night, chat. Y'all were right when y'all were saying that this could possibly be a mid-2024 or late-2024 game. And at first, I was on the defense about it, but at the same time of now just really looking back on it and listening, uh, I think you guys are probably 100% right on this one. I don't think we're going to see Budokai Tenkaichi 4. So again, for the people, I would love, I trust me, I want to be wrong. I, I think we all collectively want to be wrong here. But 
if we do not see it for the rest of this year, because again, we have to remember it was only a couple of seconds of a teaser that got us absolutely flipping out of our chairs. If it is a situation where we're not going to see it for the rest of this year, I'm okay with that because again, I would rather much have a game that is 100% polished, complete at day one without freaking a crazy amount of day one patches, unplayable buggy messes and, and stuff like that. You guys know games that came out like that. I would much prefer this game be a completely polished game right off the bat and everything servers. If it does have PVP servers dedicated online, everybody's just having an amazing time playing the game instead of having it being bombed by reviews of it being absolutely terrible. So I would personally say that Ban on Amco, y'all, y'all, it's not necessarily all y'all's fault, but at the same time, because again, you got to remember this is a Dragon Ball Z community and we were just so pumped and hyped. So again, I'm not going to blame all the fault on Ban on Amco for their for the showcase but they did sort of make it feel like that it was going to be one of those showcases that was like we're going to see Budokai Tenkaichi 4 because normally they don't do showcases anymore they had a weak showcase to be quite honest at, at last night it wasn't that great I think we can all sort of understandably collectively give them an L just serve them up an L on that one but if it does come out again whether it's at Evo Gamescom or the Game Awards or just next year at somebody's game uh some showcase or something like hell sony might even have a state of play later on i think it like, usually i think it's somewhere around september or something but even if it's there because you, you got to remember that game was a playstation game like the budokai tenkaichi series was playstation budokai games they were on platforms but budokai tenkaichi was Bud was just playstation 2 so you got to remember that one it's we're still playing with a lot of where this game is going to be on if it's going to be on all platforms or not like i said i haven't heard any news of them saying it's going to be multi-platform i haven't seen anything of that whatsoever so if you heard something about that let me know in the comment section below but i haven't heard anything about it and again just going from how it was it was playstation so i'm hoping to god that it's not just playstation is here for pc xbox switch whatever like it's here for all of it uh so that's what that's what i'm 100 hoping with again I'm referring to chat for the people that was here last night watching. So if you're a new subscriber to the channel, hey, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. But let's let's say this. So let's say this game is at Evo. Okay. I'm expecting competitive uh esport tournament sort of game then. Like it's already gonna like if you remember correctly from Budokai 3. Budokai 3 has a little bit of RPG element in the game. You can take a character, literally put the Batara earrings to help your character. So you can change your character's type in terms of how they necessarily play to your play style. So you can take like a Vegeta type and a Vegeta type is ranged attacks. So it's pretty much ranged attacks. What I think uh, the emphasis on either Key Blast 1 or Key Blast 2. I, it might've been Key Blast 1. Or maybe Key Blast 2. I think Key, I think Key Blast 2 is super was the scatter shot, and the first one was the Gallic gun. So it might be Key Blast 2 effective, but in a sense, uh, what I'm saying is you had your range attacks, and then you also had your melee fighters as well too. And again, with Budokai Tenkaichi 4, we still don't even know what the gameplay necessarily looks like. It's it's a situation that again we have one v ones, two v twos, and then we have five v excuse me, five v fives can't count. <laughs> five v5s and then we also have the dp battles which were the damage point battles or excuse me the destruction points where it was a character had a destruction value and you can only set you can only make a team set to those destructive values so basically how much damage that character does on base was what they were valued at and not like with equipment on and stuff like that so in a sense, again, if it is at Evo and it's going to be an eSport sort of thing because and they're going to turn it into like the next Fighters E sort of situation, um, that's going to have a lot of trouble. Uh, I just want to go ahead and say right now, if that didn't sound good to you at all, uh, and again, it doesn't sound good to me, especially with online capabilities and against people, there's going to be no life and the shit out of it. Uh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> like, I would tell you that right now. If you got your ass whooped, and Fighter Z before it, it'll be worse when you got to go up against somebody that has five fucking characters, five playable characters, by the way, that you can literally switch in and out of at any point in time in the damn game while you're playing it, unless you're getting your ass beat. 
and you're stuck in a combo and stuff like that, then you can't switch out. But if you're in a combo and you're the one initiating the combo, you can switch out of your characters. Even in 2007 when the damn came, when the, what, Budokai 3 came out, that's what you could do. So imagine that on Unreal Engine 5 and a faster SSD, <laughs> like it's, it's, it's not gonna be fun. I'm just gonna say netcode better be great if it's gonna be PVP. Just saying that. You guys can let me know how if you think I'm tripping about that or not, but I'm just saying like if it is gonna be an like an esports sort of thing, it ain't gonna be pretty uh, <laughs> on that whatsoever. Uh, I, I promise you right now, it's not gonna be pretty. Uh, just the simple fact of going back and even playing Budokai Three. I've even did a couple streams uh, a while back, just going back and looking at Budokai Three, which again is literally like the most broken fucking things you can have is literally power up to the very limit which a lot of gokus do have super saiyan 4 goku super saiyan 3 goku and i think uh super saiyan 2 goku might have had it but power up to the very limit with also instant transmission and there's other characters that have the power up to the very limit and with instant transmission and literally i showed that and that's like literally one of the most broken things that you can do in that game is literally instant transmission and power up to the very limit behind somebody and just absolutely destroy him because they literally physically have to turn their character around to literally lock back onto you because once you do that they unlock from you so again you have to remember that there's a uh, there's a lock on and lock off sort of thing that's on that game so that's a mechanic that's in it if that's the case and that happens with online and there you have bad netcode Bro, that's wild. If somebody has a key gauge of six, if, there, if there's a character have a key gauge of six, bro, you you screwed, bro. You're losing a character like right then and there, bro. Especially with their power up to the very limit, they don't even just hit you with a ultimate attack right off the bat. Oh yeah, you're you're done, bro. Your your character is gone. I'm just I'm just telling you that right now. If they're good at the game online, yo, your character's gone. Like I know I just went on a tangent for a little bit, but I'm just saying like if if that's the case and it's an esport, gone. It's one of these situations now that it's like. Yes, it wasn't here last night, and it could not be shown this whole year. And again, I would be fine with it. I think majority of the sense of Dragon Ball Z fans, I don't think we necessarily want a broken game. We want a game that is absolutely polished and great. Because the better the games that we have that's polished, that comes out with Dragon Ball Z, the better it is for the community, and we eat great. Like, like again, I'm looking over at the Evo and I see Fighter Z on here. Like, Budokai Tenkaichi 4 gets announced, and then it's like, okay, maybe a year later they announce Fighter Z 2. Or again, a popular game, Xenoverse 3. Like, that's gonna be another thing that everyone's gonna go buck wild on. So, in a sense, you still have those two that haven't even been announced. Those two haven't even been announced. And we know they're coming at some point in time. And they're gonna be in Unreal Engine 5. So it's like I would say for like the next 10 years, we should probably be playing some uh, like at, at least three Dragon Ball Z games at, at least. And that's not counting anything else that's mobile wise, because, again, we still got Dokkan Battle and we still got Legends mobile. Like that's not anything else that just surprise pops up, because, again, we could get a situation where I would, in my honest opinion, I would love it. And I'm going to end up wrapping this video up here in a second. But I would love it if they gave us some kind of confirmation of Budokai Tenkaichi 4 still in development, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and also been like, hey, we're going to remaster Budokai series for the next gen. And that's going to come out before Budokai Tenkaichi 4. So in a sense to sort of get a lot of people's hands on the game again and let them sort of get the mechanics in and give us a little bit of a taste of it and that's just a prediction that that's not a that's not a factual statement that's coming out or anything that's just my personal prediction that i would like to see and again that would help out the community a lot because again not everybody has access to budokai tenkaichi 3 not everybody still has a playstation 2 or a pc with an emulator blah 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 especially with internet being as crazy as it is right now and i'm blocking a lot of stuff like it'll be a little bit harder to probably get your hands on it with a emulator and stuff like that so again it's one of those situations that if they did that that would be great and then that would hold off the community a little bit longer until budokai tenkaichi 4 comes up because i'm going to wrap this up by saying banda y'all have never been really all that great when it comes to sort of marketing games uh hint budokai 
all the Budokai games really all that much. They kind of like flew under the radar, uh, but they were popular, but they flew under the radar. They should have been popular with the art. Same thing with uh, Dokkan Battle. Dokkan Battle doesn't get uh, nearly as much like publicity as Dragon Ball Z Legends. Again, if you're someone that's never even heard of Dokkan Battle, it's on the channel. Check it out. Highly recommend it. Eighth year anniversary is coming up, but it's one of those. So y'all never been great with it. And to be quite honest, I would much prefer y'all take Budokai Tenkaichi 4 and just actually run away with the marketing team and stuff like that. So get all that money that y'all got from all the mobile games and stuff like that and put it to use in the marketing. That way you can get this game out to more people because the hype is here. The, the hype is here for Budokai Tenkaichi. And that's, that's an understatement. And I mean a massive understatement. So again, looking at everything and just being rational about it now and not just <laughs> rage induced as it was last night. The ball is literally in y'all's court to do anything. I mean, you literally have the Dragon Ball Z community in the palm of your hand. So in a sense, do right to be, that's all I have to say is just do right. And then it'll be great. It will, it will be great. But chat, let me know, let me know how you guys feel about this. Uh, again, if you have you calmed down a little bit from last night and Budokan Tenkaichi 4 not being there, weigh in on it. I'm dying to see you guys this. Uh, comments down below uh, how you feel about everything and if you're going to be watching the evos and the game comms and all that stuff just to, just if you're still going to be able to see Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or at least have something of a snippet of it there or anything like that but let me know in the comment section below again have an awesome day slash night stay safe god bless and i'm out peace